I should have gone over to the therapist. Taking her to the door. Watch the going. It's not your fault. Well, it has to be. I'm my dad. I'm supposed to protect her. I should have listened to her. I mean, she lied that first counsellor. I mean, why don't I make a change of mind? <clears throat> Is there any idea when we can take her home? I know the doctors are happy, but as she's considered high risk, she will need to be seen by the psychiatrist before she's discharged. I didn't even know she was starting with a new counsellor. I could have sent her a message or something. Oh, it's not too late. She asked Ricky for help, right? Yeah. I don't think she wanted her injuries to be that bad. Yeah, but I don't know what was going through her head at the time. She needs to see the psychiatrist. <sighs> It's my governor. I'm supposed to be begging for my job. But ask the court then. You know, well, why don't I just go down there now, sort it out? Might as well stop off at the job centre on the way. Oh, God, don't be like that. You've got to stay positive. Oh, really? Because everything's going so well now. Dad. Yes, darling. I'm here. I'm go home. We had the ambulance last night. I can't believe it when it pulled up outside. I know. Poor Amy and Uncle Jack. Well, she got scooped up a few months ago, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, that was drugs, though. What, are you sure this wasn't? No, no, no. Um, uh, I spoke to Denise. I think she had an accident in the kitchen or something. Mm. Well, I ain't one to gossip, but Dottie said she had cuts on up her arm. Are you planning on doing the full transition into Dot or what? Oh, I ain't one to gossip. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. <laughs> might as well have done. <laughs> yeah, man, I 